Hello, beautiful creators. It is another Monday morning. Happy Monday, everyone. Unless you're in Australia, then you're working on Tuesday. Um, either way, happy beginning to your week. Uh, today is number eight in our Codes of Creation series. And today I'm talking about courage. Now, for those of you who have been on this journey for a long time, for those of you who are, you know, maybe you have a big vision in your creation and uh, you're not quite sure how to move forward with it, courage is what is required to keep moving forward. So, oh man, <laughs> when there's so much going on in the world, if you're sensitive and you're feeling everyone else's energy, uh, when you have a huge vision that you've been given from your soul, when people try to tell you your dreams are unrealistic, when outside voices uh, tell you you're not good enough, or inside voices inside yourself, inside your head tell you you're not good enough, this is when we need courage. And so, ah, oh, thank you, Kristen. So, look, I know a lot of you have been on this journey a long time. A lot of you have, you know, big visions that your soul wants to express through you. And it can be challenging to do the day today. You know, you're healing, maybe you're helping others heal, you're in traumatic family situations, whatever it is, there's always lots going on, right? And this is when we need courage to stick with the journey. Everybody take a deep breath. Not only courage to stick with the journey, but courage to ask for what you want and sometimes courage to receive what you want. <laughs> sometimes subconsciously, you're not ready to receive what you think you want. A lot of this stuff is unconscious. And so it takes courage to actually receive what you want. Is it, are you guys resonating with any of this? Is this making sense? Do you have questions about anything that I'm saying? Sometimes you wonder, why isn't that thing showing up? Why isn't this creation happening? And when you look in yourself a little deeper, are you actually ready to receive the thing you think you want? So sometimes it actually takes courage to receive it. So along the creation journey, Courage is part of every step, asking for what you want, holding the space and the energetics within yourself for what you want, and then actually receiving what you want, letting it come into physical materialization within your everyday reality and experience. So courage is a huge uh, code of creation. And you know, a lot of times, I haven't actually studied the law of attraction very deeply, uh, but a lot of times what I hear about it is, you know, you just, you say what you want and you hold the energetic resonance for what you want and, you know, you magnetize it to you. Well, that's all well and good, but if you're not also integrating the shadow aspects, you're, you're missing a piece of the whole creation puzzle, the whole, I don't want to call it a puzzle, the whole journey of creation. There's more than just holding the resonance of what you want. Yes, we talked about that in the first video a little bit, but um, that's not the whole story. That's why I'm doing this series because there are, there are so many different pieces that go into the journey of creating what you desire. And just for those of you who are new to this, when I talk about creation, I'm mostly talking about creating from your soul desire. Nothing wrong with ego desires, uh, but the, the desires that come from your soul, because those are the desires that actually require the most courage. Because sometimes the discrepancy between what our life looks like now and what our soul wants to express through us, there's such a huge gap. And so it takes a lot of courage to go through the process of getting to the place 
where we are aligned from the soul perspective and that includes a lot of inner work a lot of shadow integration and things like that so your action step for this week is to look at what you're creating in your life and to look at where you might need more courage maybe you need to actually start asking for what you want or maybe you need to go a little deeper in your subconscious and ask yourself am I actually willing to receive what I desire right so your action step is to look at those things and then take take an actual action like if you need to ask for what you want start doing it put something out on Facebook message someone that you trust and love talk to a friend and ask for what you want if it's on that more like subtle subconscious layer then your action step can be hire someone to help you look at that or talk to a trusted friend about the subconscious things and obviously if they're subconscious you're not going to necessarily know that they're there right away but you can ask yourself is there something subconsciously within me that I need to see so that I can heal it integrate it move forward in my journey and that process takes a lot of courage looking at yourself takes a lot of courage so know that wherever you are in the journey you are seen you are felt you are heard you are deeply loved and supported and I just if I can I just want to like infuse this video with some courage for each of you to take that next step that you need as many of you know we're having our next creation temple retreat here in Sedona November 8th through November 11th I would love for you to check it out at creationtemple.com slash retreat see if it resonates with you and if it is come join us Lots of love, you guys. I'll see you in the next video next week. Same station, same time. Code of Cre Codes of Creation number nine. We'll be talking about your heart. Opening your heart. Much love. Mwah. Oh, trying to, trying to finish it here.